Hi, I'm Mel Pickup, Chief Executive of Bradford Teaching Hospitals, and welcome to the weekly news roundup from across the Trust. This week, we will hear about the latest chapter in the Born in Bradford research story as it spreads its wings to new locations. We also find out how our pharmacy team is getting behind Plastic Free July by using paper bags to dispense our prescriptions. But first, I'm delighted to announce that we have a brand new MRI scanner coming into service over at St Luke's Hospital. Here's Principal Superintendent Radiographer Anne Williams to tell us more. So what we've done in the last week is take delivery of a relocatable MRI scanner, which as you can see, looks very neat inside here. At the moment, it's going through the process of being fitted and all medical physics checks to make sure that it's up and ready for working for the middle of August. It's got a very neat footprint. It's a 1.5 Tesla magnet. It's got improved AI and power, so the images will be processed far more quickly with the workflows. That in itself will just make the patient experience much more manageable because the appointment times will be a lot shorter and because it's a very attractive little unit so hopefully it will have a good impact for our patient experience. Thank you Anne. Now this week's scorching weather has been a dramatic reminder of climate change and the need for us to look after our planet. One way that we're trying to do that here at the Trust is to reduce our use of plastic bags in our pharmacies. And this month's Plastic Free July is the perfect time to see how the scheme is going. Here's Anita Narang from the pharmacy team to explain more. Here in pharmacy, we're committed to being environmentally friendly. Since July 2020, we've had a programme where we've abolished the plastic bags and have recycled bags. They're clearly more environmentally friendly. Our patients can uh, recycle them easily when they take the medications home. So it's generally friendlier for the environment. The other projects that we're looking into are uh, blister pack recycling, the strips, and also uh, we're using a lot of sellotape. Um, we want to uh, look into obtaining some paper tape and also introduce some more recycling paper into our uh, printing process. So we all have a role in helping the environment and we're committed to do that and it's a milestone, stepping stone for us to continue to do that. Thanks, Anita. Now it's time to find out what else is making the headlines across the Trust. fantastic news Karen it's a huge accolade for both yourself and for the trust finally since its launch in 2007 born in Bradford has followed the lives of more than 13 and a half thousand babies and its findings have had local national and worldwide impact now this groundbreaking project is set to be rolled out in three further locations under the name born and bred in Here's Bradford's Born and Bred In Network Coordinator, Kate Robinson, to fill us in. You'll probably be quite used to hearing about Bib for All at Bradford, um, because Bib for All has been running since 2019, and that's part of the Born in Bradford research. And it's a really important research initiative, which aims to find out what influences the health and wellbeing of families. We're going out to more different locations, and we've got three new areas in Yorkshire that have joined the study. So that's Leeds, Wakefield and Doncaster. The Baby Network um, is a network of local birth studies and they work together to link existing data across health, education and social care to create a picture of families' lives over time. And because we've built a baby network, we can then start comparing. So we can compare Leeds to Bradford. These studies will be used to shape local research priorities and help understand how to optimise the health of our children. Thanks, Kate. 
Well, that's about it for this week. But before I go, I want to say a heartfelt thank you to all our colleagues across the Trust and the wider Health and Care Act as One partnership. You have gone that extra mile to keep services running and to care for patients. As usual, our latest news and updates can be found on our social media channels, Twitter, LinkedIn and Facebook. Take care and have a great weekend. Bye bye for now. <laughs>